See this episode's show notes for our unique promo code to get up to two months of free podcasting service with Libsyn when you sign up for a new account. Get your show on Apple and Spotify. Get helpful stats and all the support you need to sound your very best. Hello, this is Tom Brevoort. You are listening to Into the Night, the Moon Knight podcast. Yes, welcome back, Looney listeners. You are listening to Into the Night, the Moon Knight podcast. This is episode 334, and Rebecca, I feel there's a bit of deja vu happening here. How are you I know, going? I, 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 I feel like it's a bit of a Spider-Verse thing, like, let's just do this again. <laughs> uh, for those that don't know, and I hope you didn't see it, there was about 19 minutes <laughs> On air a few days ago, we live streamed and um, things went sour. Uh, The internet didn't work, so I've changed rooms, as you can see. Now it looks like I'm in a in a cell, which is great. Um, Rebecca, you look. Have you mirrored your image? I do record the fan on the other side. (laughs) You just moved the fan. I don't think so. I don't. I haven't changed anything. Oh, I don't think. (laughs) Well, uh, you are with your high pressure conchu, of course, and as I mentioned. This is our episode 334. It is a moonshine. And what we'll be covering tonight is a new comic book that recently dropped. It's Moon Knight Volume 1, Issue 26 by that fantastic team, Jed McKay. And uh, it's Federico Sabatini, isn't it? Uh, Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, As well. Uh, Personality Crisis. So we'll be getting into that. But before that, of course... A huge thank you to all our Patronis. Thank you so much, everybody, for all your uh, support for the show. Uh, You know, Rebecca and I have been on and off just more recently, but really appreciate you sticking with us. Uh, And as well, CLZ Comics and Dreamland Comics from Schoenberg, Illinois. Uh, So, Rebecca, yep, uh, how things a little bit, a little bit, um, a little bit tired, you were saying? Yeah, I haven't quite got back to proper sleeping since I got back. So, you know. We're getting there. Getting there. Are you, are you are you taking anything like medication or anything to no, help sleep? No, no, hmm. no. I'm just doing what I can to sleep when I can. And I have a strange, a different work schedule than normal, so mm-hmm. kind and... of sleeping all sorts of weird times of day. Okay, and you don't uh, you don't drink as well? Because I was going to suggest Rebecca no. the um, the old little Canadian club there might help with that. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't. I would drink responsibly, everybody. I think I just have to stay up fully mm-hmm. one day and then, uh, but each time I think I'm going to do it, I just go, sorry, sorry, everyone, I'll just be napping. I, like, I just go, oh, I'll just go for a little lie down because, mm-hmm. you know, I'm getting so little sleep, I'm getting migraines. Ah, so I'm like, oh, I better go lie down because of my migraine, and then falling asleep, and then it's like, oh, it's lunchtime, and yeah, and I, I'm just not used to it. And luckily, my work schedule is such that I can do that. Yes, but I don't want to get used to it for when it isn't like that. I'm hoping to get more work in. So right, yeah, you're yeah. saying I think it was it's beyond August, right? The, the things will kind of click back into place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I'm looking to do a little bit different from September. So it's just like at the moment it's a little bit in flux and mm-hmm. um i work first thing in the morning and then right at the end of the day so right. like as in 8 a.m and then 5 p.m so it's just it's really quite um uh kind of split so i've, I've yes. still got to get up at stupid times but then i don't get the benefit of so i just got to stay awake one day anyway mm-hmm. it's very it's right. sorry I'll... everyone no 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 matchsticks like boring sleep issues matchsticks help as well rebecca i was told the other day i saw here yeah prop them up prop the eyelids up um <laughs> yes uh yeah i mean think... well, i mean i i don't feel i should be talking to someone with a newborn oh. about sleep problems that's fine. Look, Rebecca, I, I mean, seriously, between you and me and anyone who's listening, um, I think it will all catch catch up with me in the end. I'm, I'm talking down yeah. the track, but I think all these um, these light sleeps that I have, because I'm generally a bit of a, a night owl anyway. Um, right. I, I feel I don't get enough sleep as, as much as I should be getting. 
and I fear that will down the track uh, affect me. But <laughs> <laughs> at the moment, I don't really mind. Uh, so, yeah, we have, I mean, I should also mention Loonies and Petrunies. Of course, we are live streamed at the moment. All new comic book discussions will be live streamed simulcast over Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and all that. So we're, we're up there. Go check us out. Um, and we will be talking about the comic and talking to some visuals. So any visual references uh, during the podcast, if you're listening to it uh, on the podcast, it's, uh, it's on the, the slides that we are showing. Uh, but Rebecca, a bit of news. I mean, we did cover this in the 19 minutes a few days ago. Uh, it's fun to go, <laughs> to go through. After we joked about there not being any news, we yeah. kind of then uh, kind of then suddenly found some news. Um, so I think the most interesting news is the uh, new Lego Disney Plus minifigures. Oh, fantastic. Knight, um, who has Gus with a ta- in a fish tank, mm-hmm. and Moon Knight. Scarab and the Moon Dark thing, uh, and they are coming out on the first of September. Nice, nice. Yeah. Uh, so you have to buy them blind. Sorry, what was that, Rebecca? So, they have what? They're in box. Like they used to be in bags, so people could feel them to try and get the oh, right shape. Oh, those are those things. But now they're going to okay. be in boxes to save the environment. Okay. Um, they sometimes sell that over uh, at some service stations that we have as well. So might have they? be lucky enough to pick them up. Yeah, like you know, for you know, just like the the impulse buy near the counter, they oh, they nice. have the little Lego things there. But yeah, I, I know the ones that you're talking about. So you, you just yeah, you're buying blind. Hopefully, I mean the other ones look pretty good as well. Uh, they are really good. There's like Agatha yes. and both Hawkeyes uh, and a slew of X Men. Um, Werewolf by Night, a yeah. couple of X Men, Storm uh, wo- and Wolverine, and Beast as well. Oh, and Beast, yeah, um, he looks pretty cool. And then um, I think we were discussing whether Stature was in there. She looked like I thought it was Cassie Lang, uh, some sort of Ant Man slash Wasp character could be there. It's Goliath. It's Goliath. But, okay, apparently. Oh. Um, apparently, I don't know. Okay, oh, well, that's pretty you cool. She Hulk's there as well. Oh, Shulky. Yeah, lovely. Okay, an echo. <laughs> echo. What is happening to that TV show? Do you know? Is it somebody just sent me the weights of the different ones? So if anyone wants to go into their store with a scale, oh, I, I don't see that happening. But you know, or if you're really good at determining it by picking it up, then well, if you can determine to the gram by yeah, picking it up, then by all means, I think you should be in a Marvel comic <laughs> yourself. <laughs> <laughs> the very specific power. Do you, actually, um, incidentally, Rebecca, I do want. Do you have a power? Have you discovered a power, like um, in your, you know, your time on this no. earth? No, no. It could be as it, it could be as like uh, mundane as anything. Like I, I always thought at first, and I think I mentioned this to some other people. When I was little, I always thought my superpower was to un be able to unknot any knot without having to cut it with some scissors. Um, that's cool and i i hold it true i still think that i haven't been defeated by a knot yet so i I, i'm pretty happy with that also ironically doing podcast rebecca eve will testify to this Uh, my superpower is to put people to sleep by talking so maybe that will help you i I think you've told me that before (laughs) yeah it's probably a bad idea when i've just woken up but you know yeah (laughs) Well, I, I got one yawn out of you already, so that's that. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, that's true. Um, no, no, no superpower. No, okay. No, I don't think so. Sorry. Duh. Getting cool comics. That's your superpower. Yeah, uh, maybe. Uh, <laughs> let's see what other news do we have. Um, oh yeah, I discovered live on air last time mm-hmm. that there's a Moon Knight versus Werewolf by Night Marvel Tales book coming out. Yeah, very cool. Uh, that's the they're sort of like small. Uh, it's only like fiver. Um, that's coming out in October. It's got all the the old um, issues with Moon Knight and Wolf by Night. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, there's the Hachette Legendary Marvel Collection has the bottom coming out. This is for Rebecca. You mentioned for the Extreme Completionists as well. I mean, the again, Extreme Completionists because it mm. is just a reprint of the bottom. Yep. Um, but it's like hardcover and but with the series kind of so it's like one of those collecting series, like you buy a different graphic novel a month, yep, two a month. Yep, we've got, we've got to keep. And, ta- uh, I'm sorry, sorry, Rebecca, you know, but it's nice that that cup that's being counted as 
one of Marvel's legendary mm-hmm. collections. Yep. Uh, there's um, a, there's yeah, another. Go on, sorry. Oh no, I was about to. Um, uh, there's a thing about you've got down here with Marvel Zombies, which looks really bloody good. Yeah. So, like, I mean, I think we saw this in solicits, mm-hmm. but we only just remembered it. Uh, that Marvel Zombies Black, White, and Blood number one, which was also out in October, has a Moon Knight story. Yes. And who are they? Um, Ashley. Well, I seem to remember we talked about it being it like it's about Konshu. Uh-huh. Uh Yeah, Ashley Allen writing and Justin Mason art. I Do don't, you don't you know don't know the from. names? No, 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 no. Also, as well, just uh, I've got to put like a, a pin on it as well. We've got to keep an eye. Out. I know it's later in the year, but that uh, novel, Rebecca, that we we spoke about. Yeah, earlier, I actually cool. ordered that um, while we were recording last time. <laughs> Oh yes. The, uh, pl- yes, the choose your own adventure novel. Yes, I don't know what it's called now, but that's yeah, it's yep. so out so, November, I think. Yeah, um, and then nice. we were having a chat on Discord about all the Moonlight stuff coming out and mm-hmm. how crazy it is. And uh, Fi, the username, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm going to pronounce it like the the letter. Yep. Um, said that uh, according to the Amazon listing, Moonlight Volume Five is issues twenty four to twenty nine. Woo-hoo. Which is strange because uh, Capuccio just teased some art from number 30, but also when they did their announcement of the death of Moon Knight, they said the arc was going to be 28 to 30. So, okay. I, yeah, I'm not sure if Amazon's listing's going to change or if no. there's, there seems to be something a bit messed up there. It's a bit weird. Um, Clerical error. About where issue 30 fits in because I can't really see them breaking it in the middle of an arc but also no you're right 24 yes. 5 6 78 29 well that's six issues so yeah i don't know like yeah it may be that falls out as well i don't i don't know um yeah it's something to keep an eye on because i've not been buying them in uh in trade yep maybe so, 30 is the big bumper issue the big End, end of uh, maybe but you'd mm. still expect them not to have i'm gonna have to see what it says about volume four just quickly mm-hmm. um yeah because yeah. it just seems strange because they, they're normally four or six uh yeah no, oh no no so it's gonna be wrong because uh four says it's 19 to 24 oh so i'm says so 25 five will be 25 yeah, to yeah. 30 okay fair enough yeah i think that'll be the mistake Oh, I've got to catch up on those trades, but I, you know, I'm t- actually, I'm kind of not. I'm as waiting well. for an omnibus. Like, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I if, think... we're getting, if we're getting past, if we're getting to thirty issues, then we're going to get. Got, I mean, on, surely, right? and look, as much as obviously, I'd love the Black Cat run by Jed McKay. If Black Cat can get a nice omnibus, and Jed McKay is just smashing out of the park, he, where's the, you know, here comes Moon Knight. So yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward. But to also, that. it's just like I don't know. I mean, like we've also got them all in single issue. I'm not rushing to the trades. Like yeah. I would like to have it in trade, but mm-hmm. um, we'll see what happens. Yeah. So exciting news, Looney listeners. There's there's plenty to to chew on here, uh, whether it be you know toy figures, uh, comic books. Uh, novels uh so that's that's good or trades so plenty of stuff on white noise at the moment i'm just trying to think of anything else rebecca which i did come across but no i think most of it gets covered in discord a huge shout out to fi as well um very yeah, yeah. On, on top of uh, as well as uh, as are you rebecca i mean very well i mean i was just most of mine was just from shopping last time I just I was looking for variant covers on there. I put yeah. Moon Knight and suddenly all this other stuff showed up. Yes. I mean incidentally as well, I finally ordered my copy of Black, White and Blood, the Treasury Edition. Nice. So Good. yeah, that would be and uh I can't remember who shout out again to the Discord. Could have could have been Fi, uh, mentioning how how much how well it looks, how good it looks. Uh, it really does look very nice. Oversized, yeah. yeah so because we were talking about whether the Marvel Zombies would have a Treasury Edition. I mean, like I, I don't know if I'd buy it just for one issue, but uh, if I like it, then I kind of like Zombie. I like Marvel Zombies. I mean, I haven't got any of the Marvel Zombies. I mean, I've prime. liked some of Marvel yeah. Zombies sometimes, but I mean, it's it's not a sort of must buy for me. No, but it, no. it's one I think that you could probably do some really good stuff with Black, White, and Blood. Yeah. Oh, well, for sure. For sure. And, and this is what is, like, if I just, a little bit of a tangent, Rebecca, but you know, every Tom, Dick and Harry seems to be doing, like, published a, a black, white and blood thing. You know, I think DC, yeah. Marvel, what, what is on the go there? Is that like, is this just like a flavour or... Um, of the of the yeah, month. I think uh, I think like after DC did it, then I I okay. think DC did it first. They did the Superman. 
Yeah. Blue and red, didn't they? And Ro- the yeah. Black and gold. And um. Because I've seen. Uh, yeah. And then Marvel made theirs the black, white, and blood. And because I've seen, I think it's I think it's Dark Horse or IDW or Boom, one of those are doing a black, white, and blood as well. Like literally, like a black. I white mean, white. it kind of makes sense because it's just like mm. it's essentially putting it out in black and white, or doing one in black and white with a splash of color. Mm. Um, and obviously, we all like blood. Um, I would like I mean, orange. I don't know. I don't know. It's just like they, they all just pick up on a trend and then go yeah. for it, right? Okay, fair fair enough. I prefer orange, black, white, and orange, but it doesn't have that zing to it. So I'd like some. I like. I really did like the Superman blue and red one. I okay, that worked very nicely. And Pre- the Batman. Oh no, it was Wonder Woman gold, wasn't it? And oh, go- your gold is pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, I can't remember what the Batman. I guess just black and grey. Yeah. <laughs> 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 black, gray, black gray, black gray, and blacker. Um, black yeah. gray and just tired. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. I should have, actually should ask Finn. It was really funny the other day, Rebecca. I was asking Finn, you know, just a bit of conversation. Oh, what's that color over there, Finn? And, and I thought it was like a blue green. You know what he yeah. said? He said what? teal. I'm going. Yeah, oh, bless him. I go. Yes, it is teal, but I didn't really expect him to say to that. It's it very. Uh... <laughs> Precocious, yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, in a good way, in a, oh, absolutely. In a way. Oh, I'm, I'm so glad we do have Mario back with us. Thank you, Mario, for joining. I know you had to suffer those 19 minutes, um, not with Rebecca, but with the internet. Uh, so Mario says, Matt Wagner did black, yes, that's oh, what I'm right, thinking yeah. of. Yeah, black, white, and yeah. red with Grendel. And I know, I think with Boom, I think uh, Red Sonia, they've done, they've done black, white, oh, and red yeah, as well. yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that sounds right. Yeah. Oh, we've got ah oh, one of the OG loonies, Josh Geronimo Johnson. Hello, guys. Wow. Oh, he's he's saying hey, guys. I was going to wait to read City of the Dead in trade form, but my LCS put issue one in my pull box. That is a sign of a great fan there. So I got it anyway, and I enjoyed it way more than the regular Moon Knight book. So it looks like I'm going to have to get that. I think in single issues after all. Josh, get in, get in there, Josh. What are you doing waiting? Yeah. I can't believe it. It's, took a short, it. it's a short. Is it only four issues or is it? A... Yeah. Oh, four issues. I think about four. Yeah. yeah. It, it took an accident for you to do it. Come on, Josh. Come on. You, you know, Josh has happy been. Happy accident. Happy accident. I know Josh has been, uh, he has been amping it up, but getting the epic collections, Rebecca. I've seen it. I think. Josh, oh, nice. Josh, nice. you've got like a gazillion ones now, but awesome stuff. Uh, but yeah. Get, get yourself some City of the Dead. That's good to hear as well. Um, and thanks, Mario, as well, as always. Uh, so, Rebecca, I don't know. Shall we? Um, Let's do it. Do you fancy a bit of moonshine? Let's do it. Yep, so as mentioned, of course, Rebecca and I will be uh, weighing in on Moon Knight Volume 9, Issue 26, uh, titled Personality Crisis. Uh, So, uh, Rebecca, you know what's coming. Uh, Credits, uh, (laughs) release date August 2nd, 2023, with a cover date of October 2023. We've got writer Jed McKay, of course. Oh, is that right? I've, I've, I whipped this off fandom. It says Jonathan Hickman as well. I'm not. Yeah, sure. he just did that God's preview. Oh, page. the thing at the end. The yeah, actual... sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that one page. Come on. Yeah, uh... the one page that was <laughs> oh, in passing kind of thing. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Uh, anyway, that that's kind of flummoxed me. Uh, penciler Federico Sabatini with inks as well. Colorist the ever reliable Rachel Rosenberg. Uh, letterer Travis Lanham and editor Tom Bravort. Now, of course, available in floppy format. I'm sure Rebecca has a copy. I have a copy. I'm sure you, the listener, has a copy. And it's available on digital um, format as well. So go get it if you so choose to watch it, read it on your iPad. Uh, Rebecca, I couldn't find a solicit, so I... And I really mean this. I cobble this together. I really mean I cobble it together. So... <laughs> Um, I'm hoping you can do it justice. Any complaints to Ray? <laughs> All right. Uh, so. Dr. Barda sits down with Dr. Sturman to de- 
dive deep into his role and behaviour over the recent weeks. Uh, Bard is concerned with what he's becoming. After revealing his ties with the Fist of Country legacy has developed into something. The Fist, the first of Country's avatars, is living within Beda, and in a moment against Vibro, an acolyte of Commodore Planet, Hunter's Moon unleashes himself with terrifying force. Um, the Chorus and the First have a hold of Hunter's Moon, and Bada claims that he is starting to be unsure where he ends and where they begin. Dr. Sturman offers her knowledge and skill as a psychologist and vows to help Bada with all she knows about superhuman menticide. Uh, Bada is grateful and tells her his name is Yaya. Uh, elsewhere, in a hospital where Vibro lays recovering, a mysterious wall panel beeps unnoticed under the corner. Someone or something is watching. Look, I, I thought that was pretty funny, Rebecca. I thought, like, you know, with the dramatic zoom in to that wall panel, when I it read it. It was very funny. Yeah, I was just thinking, what if that's just like a, a, in the air conditioning panel? Like, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we got it all wrong. Maybe it's like, you know, a, a sensor, a motion sensor for the lights. But that's the God's preview, right? That's yeah. The... Yeah, what are your so, thoughts on this this gods? What is going on? Do you know? Is, I, are we getting... I don't know. I don't yet care. <laughs> <gasps> Rebecca, are we getting Her- we... is Hercules coming in the mix? Is he there? No, no, uh... it's the new Hickman thing. Oh. Okay. It's a new it's the new gods kind of thing, but like we'll see. Oh. I mean, I lo- we'd both love it if it was Hercules. But... What if he does show up? That'd be I want to know. Oh, what... it'd be great. We'd yeah. be very happy, but I just I wouldn't bet on it. Yeah, because they were also in the Hellfire Gala a bit, weren't they? Oh, were um, they? Okay. I don't know. I just think that like having going to the whole thing of like, oh, Jonathan Hickman wrote a page, and for that page just to that... be a panel on a wall beeping. Come on, that yeah, is, I know. I, have I mean, to... I I don't think that Hickman spent a lot of time on that. <laughs> exactly. I don't think he's particularly like proud, like in any way. I mean, of that if page what he wrote is epilogue and beep 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 beep, <laughs> yeah, then uh, exactly. you know. I know. That's why I said I was flummoxed when it, he was credited with it. I mean, surely you just like let it slide and just say, okay, this is just... I guess it's just, I mean, yeah. it could have been more. I don't know. It's just like... Oh, come on. Vibro. It's more. Vibro, a guy on his mobile phone sitting next to Vibro and beep, no, I'm beep, very beep, happy beep. to have Vibro in like I know. after yeah. a billion Spider-Man deep cut baddies <laughs> to have an Iron Man one. Thank yeah. Thank you, Jed. Thank you, Jed. I to was be like, ooh, vibro. To be honest, I had not come across him before ever. Um, but yeah, you well, know, I've, been, I've been reading old Iron Man recently. So, so you came. Yeah. Is, is the costume yeah. similar to the original, or or what? I mean, I don't. I, I don't really know the costume yeah, that yeah. well. I know that uh, Rhodey fought him as okay. Iron Man. Ooh, Rhodey. And then Tony fought him as Iron Man. So he's, uh, but yeah, he's not exactly been in much. I think just one issue. And he's nice. So as well. deep dive, but this time in my corner of Marvel a little bit more. That's great. I mean, Jed, so, we know, I always, that's it. Whenever someone turns up, I always think, okay, this is something that Jed's picked up. Like uh, taking nothing away as well. I'm, Jed can create uh, some really cool characters himself. But when you get someone like Vibro, I'm just thinking, oh yeah, where, where are we going now? We're, we're... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that was a lot of fun. Uh, Rebecca, overall then, uh, after that synopsis, what did you make of this issue? This was very obviously Hunter's Moon-centric. Uh, and... Yeah, which we like. Um, it's, you know, it's, it's always it's, – it's an interesting one because, like, it's almost like I detach the story from, like, what we know is going on in the background, like, because we know we've got this sort of Death of Moon Knight uh, – mm art coming up um that it kind of almost seems like positioning uh badder to take over yeah despite my speculation that it might be the kid from 25 (laughs) um i mean i think this is the easy option right and it's kind of like instead of the did which is clearly um something that writers are these days thankfully paying more attention to getting right Mm -hmm. or getting more right or um not being offensive about um we've kind of got um 
something that kind of can take the place. So it's similar, but not a mental health issue. That um, mm -hmm. like it's almost like you know when Moon Knight originated and it, they hadn't sort of pinned down the either the, the sort of DID, and it was um, mm -hmm. you didn't really know what the different the Jake and Stephen were. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, it's kind of like they've done that to Bada, but been more specific about now we've got this, um, the history. Now we know that there's the, um, the legacy Moon Knights are kind of all in reserve somewhere. Um, and then uh, it's kind of, it's an interesting way of doing it. It's kind of like, I think it's like Ragman almost, isn't it? Ragman? Not to, <laughs> that's a not, nice. to not to pull from another DC comic. Oh, no, that's a, I, a Jewish character. I tried Ragman. Um, it was good. It was okay. Ragman was okay. I thought. But that's a similar kind of thing, right? Mm. Except for except in Ragman, it's the the souls of people that have um, died. This time, it's the the previous Moon Knights that are coming in to kind of yeah help him take over. Um, it's an interesting, and it also sort of begs the question that if Mark does die, that would does I mean presumably Barda would get access to him as well. Yeah, oh, true. He'd be like, oh, the first thing I'm thinking of, Rebecca, is Tony Stark as AI, <laughs> you know? Yeah, so you, yeah get, I mean, you know, you get, it's kind of like that. Yeah. But um, but it's interesting that, so it's interesting we're kind of introduced to this through a discussion with Sturman, mm. who um, is very much the sort of, you know, there to help with sort of yeah. therapy. And and very consistent with the storytelling as well. It kind of cycles mm -hmm. back to um, we've seen Mark it's a and nice Sturman. mirror to Mark mm. and Sturman, and yep. also means the stuff that Sturman's learnt from Mark about the whole menticide thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, it could, it could. Um, can sort of play. I think it's interesting. I mean, yeah. I I don't really yeah. know how I feel about it. I just I'm. It's kind of there. Yeah, I'm kind of with so, you. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I'm. I'm just along. It feels for the a ride. bit neat. Oh, uh, okay. Think, okay. Maybe. Well, this is when the, the rug is pulled underneath you, Rebecca. So maybe this is exactly the the sort of lull that Jed wants you to think. And maybe. Yeah. No, yeah. I mean, I, I like that. Um, I like how it's told. I like how it's playing out. Um, I like the characterization. It's great to hear, find out his name. Mm hmm. Um, yeah. No. I love the. Uh, the art and stuff. Yeah, something you very well. The, there's the coloring is amazing. Oh, color is always, as always, as always. As always. Um, but there's also a lot to play with, as you say. There's a lot of potential, and what I think and what uh, interests and excites me is this notion of the first and the chorus, and what appears mm. to be like almost a usurping um, of batter yeah. as a fist, yeah. and so there's a power struggle within and. Does that mean that will internally, like through the first, not to say that it does, but become an evil, evil force or whatever, or th there's going to be some conflict there as well? I think that's that is very interesting, mm. and and maybe it's a case that they would have done it to Mark, but his mind is too, you know, like when he yeah. talks to um yep. to other characters that can get in people's mind, like Nightmare, mm -hmm. and he's like going, "Oh, you don't want to go into my mind." Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. Um, and maybe that's this is how the fits of country normally works. Yeah, and and you or have... maybe it is yeah. maybe it is something to do with uh, Bada's botched resurrection. True. Um, yeah, because I mean, that's where it stems from, isn't it? It's like um. Yes. You that's know, right. Uh, yeah, yeah. When he when he yeah. died, we saw him uh, die. Um, so, but that's I'm an, going back on myself there. No, okay. uh, but that's an interesting point too, as well. And and the fact that, as you said, I love that idea of the fact that Mark is broken, and yet you, you juxtapose or you you look at that and look at Batter and and how devout he is, and maybe mm -hmm. because he's so devout, maybe that's like easy for the chorus it's to a bit kind of, of both isn't it because yeah. i'd had forgotten that the uh resurrection was a little bit messed up but um... yeah yeah i love it I, I love these new elements that jed mckay has introduced now to to moon knight it's it's bringing back the uh the, the supernatural you know the, the the fantastical elements to it as well don't get me wrong i love the the street level moon knight uh and, and all that but you know adding this dynamic it's similar to when they added the in the full moon, he gets like stronger. It's a similar kind yeah, of Yeah, I mean, it's it's yeah. something that the other street level characters don't have. Mm. So it's surprising that it's not 
been stressed more and yeah. given like Sturman's interests, but also having Bader arrive who has that, like you said, the devotion, but mm-hmm. also the law. I mean, it is equiv- equivalent to sort of um, uh, Danny getting the book of the Iron Fist, mm-hmm. like suddenly, suddenly knowing what's behind this character. Yeah. Um, and just adding that up. So, uh, yeah, I, look, I'm just uh, just breaking here, breaking about uh, I just want to say, I think I, I have no idea, Rebecca, I've got dibs on this might be Drew. But uh, no, it's uh, Jonathan Sapsard. Oh, Jonathan. Okay, how long before we get yeah. a story called Breaking Badder? And also, I really hope very soon. I hope very soon as well. <laughs> yeah. And also, I got a hey, guys up early enough to actually catch this live. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you're. Uh, That's uh, Andrew Mayer. Oh, that that is that is Drew. I thought so. Yeah. Drew, get on that elliptical yeah. trainer, friggin' smash it out. Come on, 25 minutes, level 10. Come on, do it. Um, and he also made the comment about the Fist Law. So. Yes, all the new elements of the Fist Law have been so cool, yeah, and tastefully done. I, I absolutely agree, and, and I just love it. I think it's really added a, a little more dimension to, to Moon Knight, and it's given him an opportunity for writers, if anything, to to go down a different avenue. Like we've already got a really, I think, a cool story, Rebecca. I know we discussed it uh, previously with Jonathan uh, about City of the Dead, and the first issue was like a setup issue, but it's such a different flavor, you know. To yeah, to this yeah. One. I mean, it's just showing you like mm. what all the different like ways you can go, and and he's actually sort of you know he's added law that's worked and that we kind of embraced and doesn't feel like it's. Uh, janky and uh sort of forced in you know for right from the minute of sort of the other fist then it's all kind of fit and mm-hmm. it's kind of nice to get some more of the supernatural side of it. because you know let's face it if you're working for a god you want a little bit more supernatural stuff in there exactly and uh with that rebecca i thought i may as well put up the comics for those uh looking <laughs> Uh, on the internet, uh, not the, of course on the internet, on YouTube. What am I talking about? Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, there we go. We're just going through. Yeah, we've got the gods page writer Jonathan Hickman mm-hmm. there. Uh, anyway, uh, yes. So, um, yeah. I mean, nothing that we've we already haven't said. Yeah, we've kind of covered it. most of that story. Yeah. So then you just get to uh, to Vibro sort of saying, "Oh, Black yeah. Spectre said he's killing Moon Knight tonight, and here you are." Yeah. Well, and he's like, yeah. Actually, I mean, and, and of course, this totally makes sense because it, it is in context. But what I did find in this issue was that, like, when we go back to the Moloids and Hunter's mm-hmm. Moon, it's kind of like, oh, wow, but yeah, 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 that's right. But that happened a while ago, right? Um, so yeah, yeah. I got that sense and it was like, oh, but but because everything ties together, it works well. But I was just a little bit, not surprised, not shocked, but surprised that. Oh, yeah, we're going back to them. Um, and we kind of yeah. made a story there. But, um, yeah, that was cool. Yeah, that was good. And uh, before we get into Vibro, there, Rebecca, as well, we, we get a little bit of a sense here. This, uh, this whole issue is really kind of fleshing out the, the first and the legacy of physical country and the chorus. And we get a lot more of a, a, a blood. I guess it's a bloodthirsty hunter's moon. If I can track, oh, again, look at these colours. If I can, so like, they're just great. Oh, and we talk about splash pages as well. I mean, it's a really beautiful one. This is really. Yeah. Uh, well, Batter says, "Let me strike first, Maloid alone, big brother." Because I'm a fist of country, little brother. I am never alone, and and alone. And it's really funny if you take out that first, "I'm a fist of country." Mm-hmm. The "I'm never alone" is such a mock comment as well. It is, isn't like, it? It's, it's yeah. interesting how well it fits. Like just, but Bada means because of the old fist of country, and like Mark yeah, because Mark. Um, yeah, exactly. Um, Mark as well. Mark is such a wee one because. He would say that at times he feels so alone, but he really isn't because we know, like he's no, got the yeah. cast of thousands and network. I mean, he'd say both, yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> like, exactly. so, yeah. yeah, yeah depending on the day. Uh, but here, with a knot that what I really enjoyed, um, it's it's kind of fleeting, but this nine I love panel, that page. yeah, this yeah. nine panel page, uh, just subdivided equally, and it has uh, Hunter's Moon just going uh, at it at the the minions of. Of Vibro, I guess, and Commodore Planet, um, but with also the, the Fists of Conscience helping him out. Um, so, really, does establish that he's got this force behind him. Um, 
what is interesting though, Rebecca, is oh, you're right. Actually, sorry, I'm thinking about it's, it's a flawed resurrection that has done it because I was about to say when he took on Moon Knight before, why didn't we yeah, see any yeah. of this? But that wasn't because you know we found out later he gets he gets killed by um uh, the man. So yeah. Okay, that, okay, sorry, I've answered my own question. Um, no, it's hard. It's, it's like it's interesting because, like, it was a big deal, but he's not been our focus before. No, no, and, like, we've been focused on Mark, and then we have to kind of remember what happened with Bada. Yeah, and, and I do love these issues as well. I mean, that, that awesome, uh, I'm going to throw it, I don't know, I'm going to say seven, but I could be totally wrong, with stained glass gullet and Hunter's Moon. Oh, that, was that was so an good. Awesome oh. issue. Um, so I'm really glad that Jed has, you know, again, gone back to a, a Hunter's yeah. Moon-centric um, issue. And here we go, Vibro. Uh, yeah, looking pretty, pretty badass. Um, Love him. What is it? Is it so it's all technology-based? It's like it's vibration. Yeah, it's like vibration. Shocker. Yeah, okay. Yeah. But it's not, it's all, it looks like, I'm just looking at it now. Uh, he's got two like guns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so he, he does all that. Um, but Hunter's Moon has no no bar of it, and I love this again. A couple of great panels here. I think Sabatini really is. Um, maybe it's he's just grown a, so much. He has, yeah. has. But I'm thinking maybe it's Jed, the one that kind of says we need a big splash because we've seen it on both artists now. Oh yeah, for sure. Well, I think also like Sabatini is trying to stay in the same style, yeah. realistic sort of True. thing as Captain. So it's, yeah, I mean it could be either. I really want to learn more about this first person. Or, or oh yeah, no, I definitely do. That would be a really interesting thing to sort of uh, flash back to in yeah. some annual or give us at some point. And correct me if I'm wrong, Rebecca. This is the same physical country, the first that we saw in. I can't. Is it the Kang? Was it the annual that we saw with Kang and Moon Knight that we saw the first? I think so, yeah. yeah and, God, I don't and, remember where, but we've definitely seen him, yeah. But also in the Jason and Aaron run, you, you do see the, like, the caveman. Uh, physical yeah, conscious. yeah. So this, this could be, I think this is the one in the same. Um, it's yeah. really hard to tell from the picture we get here, but it, you, it would is, think yeah. the, you would think the 10,000 BC one would be no. the first. Yes. I mean. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Who knows? It's Marvel, but you know. Isn't it 10 million? I don't know, something, something crazy. I don't know. Yeah. Whatever it was. Once you add, once you go back that far, it doesn't matter how many zeros <laughs> exactly. you add. Exactly. They're all ridiculous. <laughs> yes. Um, now, also, finally, Rebecca, I just wanted to I don't know, get your thoughts on the significance of Bada giving his name. I mean, because this, this is how the, the issue pretty much ends. Um, this being, a, a, I guess, a huge sign of confidence in Sturman. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah. I think it's also it's now we now he's firmly a character to stay kind of thing as well. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It's just like I don't know if we'll ever call him that, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, sorry, I have missed a few things while I was flicking through the uh, the comic. Oh yeah, go on. Uh, all eyes. We've done that. That was that was Drew. Um, They're all Drew. I'm aiming to get bad, bad, bad buff. <laughs> Drew, mate, you are already bad buff. Um, no, no worries about it. Uh, he is pretty buff. Yeah. And Drew also. Side note: I'm a Hickman fan boy at this point, and I am just so effing excited for Gods to start off next month. His current Ultimate Invasion is very, very cool too. Yeah, Re Rebecca, where else is, is Gods featured? Do, do we know? Is it like a, an event thing or what, what's uh, that? It's a, it's a, a series. Um, I think oh. probably a mini series, oh, maybe a maxi okay. series. Yeah, right. um, so and then he's, I think, just dropped in to advertise it in a few issues beforehand. Okay. I, I agree. I mean, I'm, I love Hickman. I think Ultimate Invasion so far has been better than... I hoped. Oh gosh, I haven't even. Uh, yeah, is it good? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm enjoying it a lot. Um, I think he's very competent writing the Avengers, and uh, generally, a um, little bit. Of, it's it's interesting to suddenly have a focus on Howard Stark um, for me mm -hmm. personally. So I'm getting used to that. And I look. I think God sounds fascinating. I just think okay. this preview was a little bit like what. 
Um, like, it's <laughs> like I, I think Hickman is so accomplished that when I yeah. see a page like that, I find it. I, I, I take my I opportunity know. to laugh exactly at, like, yeah. how much writing went into that. Exactly. But um, but no, I am always excited about Hickman uh, content. Um, yeah, I mean, because he he just comes at it differently from other people. So he does. He does. He he does. It, for me, I mean, it has been an inconsistent reading of his stuff. Uh, some I've liked, some I haven't. Uh, but all I can say, Jonathan, Mister Hickman, if you're listening, Hercules, add him in to gods. At oh my instant win. god, we would die of instant happiness. win. Thank you, thank you, mic drop. Um, but yeah, no, no, that's great. Great to hear, uh, Drew. And yeah, I must, I must check out this uh, ultimate invasion. Yeah, I mean, I think it's probably going to be worth buying in trade. In okay, the end. is this um, the one I'm with? I'm not sure. It's... Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, it's the the ultimate universe. People, it's the yeah. maker. It's, and it's with Brian Hitch, and... right? The the artist. Yeah. 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 Okay, I gotcha. Yeah. Nice. Okay. No, fair, fair enough. Um, also, we've got something else here. I think it's from Drew. Uh, I was also a big surprise fan of yeah. the City of the Dead 2. Yeah, me too. I mean, I, I really enjoyed it. I'm a, an MCU fan, of course, so I'm biased, but I thought they brought in the MCU elements flawlessly and the supernatural stuff is welcome to me. I'll stop spamming chat. Haha, <laughs> miss chatting. You'll hope to... Um, oh, no, we miss uh, chatting to you. It's, it's, uh, it's nice to have you. Yeah, so. it, it's great, uh, Drew, as well. And just don't fall off the treadmill, okay? If you're typing, just, you know, just hold two hands, okay? Two hands on. Do what Bardo would do. <laughs> do what Bardo would do. <laughs> um, focus. The focus, yeah. yes. Uh, so, no, thank you so much, Drew. It's, it's awesome to hear from you and everyone else as well um, in this uh, this live stream. Uh, Rebecca, I guess having said that, what let, let's do some ratings um, because we do have a bit of feedback at the end as well, so I want to go through that. Okay, but... cool. <clears throat> uh, ratings. Mm -hmm. You do yours first. I haven't thought yeah. about it. Look, I, I really enjoy this as, look as well. I'm really enjoying both The City of the Dead and, of course, Jed McKay's run. Um, so I know Jed, yes, I can't wait to have you back on the show. Uh, yeah, really good. I gave it a seven out of 10. I think it was very solid. Um, I, you know, I loved learning more about Hunter's Moon. I love like diverting away from, from Mark. Uh, and I love adding these extra elements to Moonlight Law. I think it's just very, very strong. Uh, and it's, I think it's important carrying Moonlight forward that he, you know, writers add a little bit here and there. Like we, we got it with Bemis as well. We got it with Lemire uh, to an extent. Uh, but, yeah, just how writers add a little bit more to the law, which is really cool. And I think, Jed, you, you're doing a fantastic job um, with with making Moon Knight interesting and kind of modernising, ever modernising him. So, yeah, 7 out of 10 for me. Um, how about you, Rebecca? Um, I was gonna give it seven point five. Actually, nice. I did like it. Um, I there's always I I don't want to judge it based on my concerns about potentially losing Mark, and um because I do think Jed is building out Bada incredibly well, mm -hmm. and um I'm not precious about uh legacy characters mm -hmm. generally quite like them. There's a little bit of reticence about potentially losing a Jewish character. Um, but then we don't have many Egyptian characters. So you know what? Mm. If if it's badder, I'm good with it for now. We'll see. Yeah. So, but, so, uh, yeah. I think if you're a Moon Knight, you can't ever really be dead. No, exactly. I mean, uh, I just kept on thinking as well, Rebecca. I'm just trying not to let it color my view of the issue. I know, of course, and, and look, if, it's it's transitory. I mean, we know as well. Uh, at the moment, Frank Castle is not the Punisher. There's this new person yeah. that's a Punisher. It looks like you know Moon Knight's going to be um, kind of through the same thing, uh, but you know, I'm sure we'll get Mark back. But in the meantime, I can't wait to see, and hopefully, Hunter's Moon really does instill himself into the the Marvel uh, Cinematic Universe. Oh, Marvel, sorry, Marvel Universe. Yeah. Um, Similar to you know the 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 new iteration of Scarlet Scarab from the City of the Dead. Yeah, I mean, I'd love to see her back. So I mean, like, yeah. I just, I just, I, I'm enjoying it. I think the storytelling's great still. Mm -hmm. uh, I think this is probably the most seamless switch from Capuccio to to um, Sabatini. Oh, Sabatini's art, yeah, I've got I it. I mean, it's, yeah, it's good, like good idea, good point. Yeah, it's it's really so incredibly 
Like I, I think we're just so lucky to have the art team yeah. be so solid throughout and um and like every time we've had a a shift it's always been to Sabatini and he's like always stepped up and uh and just got better and better. But anyway, yeah, I, I, I don't wanna get in the way of our feedback. Sorry. Oh no, that's all right. No, I just wanna uh you know, add on to that as well. I'm not sure how hard or how easy the logistics are, but like I full credit to uh, editorial as well for sticking with, you know, a consistent alternative artist because we could easily have got, you know, in the past, uh, if, if Capuccio has a break, we have different artists here and there and it could really be disconcerting as well. And I think Sabatini, uh, a lot of loonies um, weren't taken to him because they love Capuccio so much. Um, I love Capuccio, but I think Sabatini is doing some fantastic work. So yeah. I've, got, I've got to tip my hat off to him as well. Um, so doing really good work. I, I follow him on Twitter as well. He's just got some great art coming out. So um, really enjoying it as well uh rebecca i've forgotten now we do have quotation mark this is this is our feedback uh, oh, yes. <laughs> so learning feedback quotation mark um we do have some feedback from our facebook group so thank you so much for for weighing in and you had a little bit of extra time because of course we we had that uh 19 minutes that got shot down in flames uh rebecca do you want to lead us off with the first one Yes, so this is from Lena. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought it was interesting that we got to see Dr. Bada on Dr. Sturman's couch and finally learned his given name. I thought when I saw the name of this story was personality crisis, that knowing Jed, that probably won't mean what we think it means. I was happy to find out that I wasn't mistaken mm -hmm. about Jed's predictable unpredictability. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. Yes. Uh, so Hunter's Moon now has a condition that's sort of kind of D.I.D.-ish, but not really. Is this Jed's way of priming him to be the next Moon Knight? Mm. I was thinking that his being taken over by Old Dead Fist reminded me of something I've seen in comics before. And then it hit me. It was back in Mark Spector. I'm in deep denial run when Frenchie was in a Professor X hover chair and had the ability to be possessed <laughs> by his own ancestors. Uh, I think he was calling himself Bloodline or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> I tried to block those issues out of my memory. Uh, I also thought it was interesting that Hunter's Moon is now big brother to the Moloids. Is it just me <laughs> or did they seem a lot more intelligent than they used to be? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, I'm hoping maybe we'll get to see a Hunter's Moon kick the crap out of Mole Man in an upcoming issue. Overall, I like this one a lot. I'll give it an 8.5 out of 10. Oh, nice one, Lena. Yeah, the, the Moloids definitely seemed a little bit more... Uh, maybe he was... It. Maybe he was hobnobbing with you know the best of the Moloids. They did have know? the little moon logos on the little moons on their forehead. Maybe that gave them some extra, you know. Yeah, uh, I think we got. I think it's Drew again. Apologies because I only get Facebook user on this. Um, I think Drew says I wasn't feeling the issue until Bada gives his first name. I like that. Yes, it, it seemed quite oh, a nice. significant move. So. Um, yeah. So no, thank you so much, Lena. Yeah, eight and a half far out, putting my my marking to shame. Um, but some great points there, and uh, I have to laugh. That was Jonathan Sapson. Oh, that was Jonathan. About, ah, yep. Jonathan. Ah, nice one. Um, no, I have to keep going back to to Facebook to have a look. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I love the the comments on the Moloids and uh, and Frenchie and Bloodline. And let's just, <laughs> I just let's saw leave the that next comment. It's brilliant. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. So the next one, uh, this was in response to Lena's comment, uh, a post, and it's from, from Stephen O'Leary. I also think they're priming Hunter's Moon to be the next Moon Knight, but how great would it be if the next Moon Knight was just a bunch of Moloids in Moon... Uh, uh, Stephen, MVP award. <laughs> you, you get the ITK, you, the first ever ITK award. Um <laughs> the no prize it's just it's just that's brilliant awesome. it made me laugh so much that's awesome can you imagine like a three foot moon knight just break into the bar with no name and go okay who am i going to take out now <laughs> you know and it's a moloid um the moloids all like standing on each other's shoulders oh, to yeah, fit yeah. into the moon knight <laughs> in, in a trench coat or something you know yeah. <laughs> oh no brilliant. thank you so, so much for that that's awesome um yeah, Rebecca, there's one other one. I mean, we've heard from him earlier in this episode, but Mario, did you come? Yeah. Uh, so Mario says, it's a difficult issue to review, really. On the one hand, it's an excellent spotlight on Hunter's Moon, updating us on just what happened when he was resurrected and what went wrong. We get insight into his character and some excellent action scenes. On Ooh. the other hand, as oh. part of the whole Black Spectre storyline, it's basically filler. Uh, the plot doesn't move forward at all. Mark doesn't even get a panel. True, and yeah. the gods page prescripted by Hickman is utterly <laughs> pointless. 
thank you. A uh, blinking red light neither explains what's going on nor makes me care about the upcoming issue. I mean, that is the problem. It is. Um, there's yeah. another page in Doctor Strange this week. Uh, so that's Doctor Strange number six mm-hmm. uh, that has more narrative but still lacks enticement value. Okay, so Hellfire Gala is so far looking like the biggest insight into the ah. thing so far. Okay. Uh, and even that was just like a couple of comments. So yeah. uh, on the third hand, we get Vibro, one of Iron Man's lamest <laughs> foes, according to an actual published comic. <laughs> uh, another of Jed's patented deep cuts. All in all, a bit weak, but still pretty good. Eight out of ten. Wow, Mario. To be not scathing, but to be so kind of critical of it, and and still come out with an eight out of ten, well done. Well, I think I think I yeah. mean he's only he's he's only critical about some aspects of it. Like yeah. I, I think like because it starts off by saying it's an excellent spotlight in Hunter's Moon, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, and true, then criticizing true. all the little bit, and it's like that the, the issue is the spotlight on Hunter's Moon. So that is kind of, I can see mm-hmm. why that matches with the score because that is ninety mm-hmm. percent of the issue. I agree. I think maybe. Mario there picked up on what I, I felt about it a little bit is that uh it's it's a bit of a stuttering halt to the Black Spectre story. Line. Yeah, it, it is absolutely yeah, well so, um, I call it a break though. I, I like love a, it, an intermission but it's like, from it. Yeah. But it, it well and it is and yeah. but I also see like you know, we are getting into that kind of it's building up, it's building up, it's building up, and then suddenly this. Yes. And then and, and which is great, but I think that's maybe what wrong footed me a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I mean yeah, absolutely. Um, and Rebecca, I just want to say as well, you you two get an ITK no prize for knowing what OTOH was on the fly. I thought that would have stumped you, but you just went ahead and said, yep, on the other hand. I just said, wow, what? <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> I would have no idea what that OTOH was. So, oh, bless you. <laughs> so well done. That's awesome. Um, thank you, Mario, so much. Yeah, some some great comments there. And um uh, yeah, yeah, Hickman, uh, <laughs> utterly pointless. I'm just relieved that I, somebody else felt the same oh, about the God's page. I'm, like, I'm glad know, someone like, said it. So, so yeah. it, was, it was really terrible. Uh, not terrible. I mean, just just pointless. Um, it's just emotion. funny. I mean, it's yeah. just, it literally is funny. Like, you know, oh yeah, Hickman scripted a page, and then it's like, I know. Okay. <laughs> that is full on. That is leaning on the name. That is name dropping to the nth degree. That is like kind seriously. of okay. Yeah, I'm really glad Hickman got involved. To write, you know, like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's terrible. And, and the funny thing is, like, gods will come out, and this will be this really, really significant thing or something. <laughs> oh, that red dot on the wall! Oh my that god, it was a red dot all so along. Important. Like, yeah, <laughs> it, was, yeah. it was so awesome. Yeah, yeah. If we, if we didn't know about the red dot, that would make yeah. no sense at all. So, uh, no, thank you so much, uh, all the loonies and patroonies that uh, that have joined us for the show. It's been so much fun, um, Rebecca. As always, it's it's a lot of fun. Like getting, I, I love Drew just in the gym, just you know texting in. Yeah, this is stuff. really cool. Like, I mean, I know it's not the normal time we're doing yeah. this, but yeah. yeah, and I really appreciate it, guys. Um, and thank you so much. Uh, next phase, Rebecca. I've got to say. Oh, actually, this is a spectacle. Uh, is there anything that you want to give a shout out to Rebecca before we, uh, before we start uh, signing off? No, just these the usual, usual things. I think we're doing a DCAU podcast this week and an Immortal Iron Fist podcast this week. Yeah. I, I'm out of track a little bit. You got, you got a, um, and I don't know how far ahead you record, but you have special guests from LSK from Last Sons of Krypton. We do, yeah. Why so in, in DCAU podcast, we've mm-hmm. done. Uh, a Superman loss. I don't remember what this called. Don't, don't. <laughs> that one. Um, it was a Superman film. Man of Tomorrow. Man, Man of, tomorrow. of Tomorrow. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, yeah. So Connor uh, guested on that. That was a lot of fun. Nice. Uh, and then I'm talking to Connor about we're doing Deadly Hands of Kung Fu. Nice. Nice. Very cool. I'm I'm gonna uh, toot my own horn as well. Just recorded with with Saren our latest episode of To Know Her Is to Fear Her Spider Woman podcast. So check it out in the coming days. Um, Did you see the announcement that the the new Spider Woman yeah. run is now an ongoing? Yeah, yep. Saren picked up on that, and nice. and we didn't know whether it was like a um, an uh, unintentional kind of like leak, but yeah, the the article in Marvel said it's ongoing. It's going to lead into the ongoing, so that is so awesome. Um, we'll have Stephen Fo- Steve Fox with us next month um, to chat nice. with him. So uh, can't wait. He's a huge Spider Woman fan. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And also as well, I'll be recording. Uh, uh, just dropped an episode in uh, Predator and Prey. 
the inimitable Sparky Malarkey, who's been on the ITK uh, show. She is now, I, I'm assuming, I think she is a regular co-host with Russell, Justin, and myself. So she jumped nice. in. Uh, she chatted. Uh, they all chatted about Predator in video games, which is pretty cool. And we'll be recording uh, a review on the latest issues four and five of uh, Ed Brisson's Predator. So that's um, looking forward nice. to that as well. And speaking, Rebecca, of special guests, uh, next phase, um, I'll have to work with you with time. So we do have Erica Schultz um, yes. locked in. So Erica, for those that don't know, she is writing the What If um, the like, what if Moon Knight? Well, I kind of was it. What if he died, or what if he was not Moon Knight? Um, Mark Spector. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's a. It's a, I can't remember the dark. The dark. What if? The dark. Moon what Knight, if? Isn't it? Yeah. So excited to to chat. Uh, Erica returning to the show. We've had her on before for uh, Black White and and Blood. Uh, so can't wait to chat with Erica. Catch up. And I, we know that she's a big Moon Knight fan. So it's going to be a really good chat to have with her about mm. um, how she approached. A, a what if? Um, that'd be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm looking forward to that because obviously we've not read it yet, but it's going to be yeah. an interesting one. Yeah. Yeah. So keep your um keep your eyes and ears peeled. Rebecca and I we have a few uh, special guests lined up. I cannot wait uh, to get uh, into them and get them into the show. It'll be all really good. Uh, once again, a huge thank you to all our patronies. Uh, check out patreon.com slash ITK Moon Knight and you too can become a Patreon member. Uh, huge thanks to the likes of Odin, Frank, Daniel, Mario, Justin, Derek, Wayne, Josh, Anthony, Russell, Michael, Drew, Matthew, Jonathan, and Dan, all you guys. Thank you so much for your support. Um, just, just helping us through. Uh, really, really appreciate it. Uh, Big principal sponsors as well, Odin, Frank, uh, Daniel Doing, and Drew, who's still well, – he's, he's, you're pumping the iron now. You're pushing the tin, Drew. Come on. Another <laughs> rep. Another rep. Uh, <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> you can do it. Um, all fantastic people in their own rights. Uh, Odin, Odin Sword with his podcast, Drinking Marvel Podcast. Frank, uh, Frank the Think Tank. Uh, they're a little bit quiet, but they do have a podcast, I Want to Fight It podcast, which has been pretty fun. Daniel doing, releasing an action figure of Fringe Night, his own creator-owned character uh, from Erie, Pennsylvania. Well done, Daniel. Andrew, of course, creating some awesome music. Uh, go check out SoundCloud and um, Bandcamp as well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as well as CLZ Comics and Dreamland Comics uh, CLZ Comics, check out collectors.com and Dreamland Use the code MOON and get 20% off their online store And finally, you'll get to hear Rebecca in, in other great shows as well As mentioned on DCAU, DC Animated Universe podcast As well as Sons of the Dragon, Immortal Iron Fist podcast uh, I'm gonna give. I'm just going to give our shows a plug, Rebecca uh, as well as um, Predator and Prey, a Yaucha podcast, which I'm on, which we just mentioned previously, uh, and also to know who is to fear the Spider Woman podcast. One little shout out to Inner Demons as well. Brian Biggie yeah, still doing it. He's doing the solo. Well done, Brian. Uh, keep it up, yeah. uh, Ghost Rider. We need more support for Ghost Rider. Um, finally, as well, I'm going to shoot this up onto the screen. You can send us your thoughts. It's always fun to hear um, to hear from you. Uh, at uh, let me get rid of that uh, email feedback at itkmoonot.com. We've got the website it, itkmoonot.com. We're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. The important thing to remember is the handle at itkmoonot.com. Just check it out. Uh, also on Discord as well, the likes of uh, Rebecca is is yeah. quite uh, active in it, as well as Fi. A big shout-out again uh, to Fi as well. So uh, a lot of good stuff, a lot of content, a lot of ways to chat with your fellow loonies. Yeah, and we have a lot of uh, a lot of new issues coming up, so we'll need mm. all your feedback. <laughs> we need all your feedback. We need all your thoughts. I can't wait. And thank you so much to everyone that has been joining recently. Uh, I should... Shout out to the Facebook group as well. It's still going, still going great. I think we're edging towards two thousand now, so um, we're very close. Uh, thank you so much for for keep on, um, yeah, keep keep on being interested in it. Thank you to those uh, the bots as well that have decided to join and to to amp up the, <laughs> the numbers. <laughs> uh, with that, Rebecca, thank you so much once again. Thank you. 
And as always, may Conchu watch over the denizens of the night. Catch you later. Take care, everyone. Bye. Moon Knight and affiliated characters, stories and events are properties of Marvel Characters Incorporated. Materials used and discussed within the podcast are intended for critique and review purposes only under the fair dealing concept of the current Copyright Act. The views, information or opinions expressed during the podcast are solely those of the individuals involved and do not necessarily represent those of the copyright owners. Hello, I'm Alan. I'm Rebecca. And if you're listening to this, then we recommend that you check out our podcast, the DCAU Podcast, where we watch the original DC animated movies, starting from Batman Mask of Phantasm and continuing on to Justice League Dark, Apocalypse War, and beyond. And we will cover such heroes as Batman, Superman, The Batman, Wonder Woman, Victorian Steampunk Batman, The Flash, Batman Beyond, Green Lantern, Old Man Batman, Martian Manhunter, and plenty more versions of Batman. Lots and lots and lots of Batman. You can find the DCAU podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or anywhere else that you can get podcasts by looking up the DC AU podcast and subscribe today.